Привет, товарищи, and welcome to my master's cut. As you guys know, I really like uh, paracord. This is the 550, the military stuff. Uh, it's super resilient. Uh, it does a lot of jobs really well, 100, over 100 uses, and you can fix about just about anything. Uh, the problem is, is how you store it and how you can access it. And in more ways uh, than once, typically this stuff after you use it once or twice, uh, and you don't tie it properly or tightly, this stuff gets loose, uh, gets into knots, and then you waste a lot of time trying to get it out of a knot, and it's not readily available, and that's the biggest problem. So, as I was researching for better ways to store it, um, I noticed uh, online that, there, that this company made a multi-tool spool tool. It's a mouthful, I understand, but it's actually very simple. And this is how it looks like. This is actually a, a little bit over 110 feet of paracord. So let me show you what this multi-tool looks like and what it is. Let me show you the features. So this survival tool comes in a Ziploc bag like so. And it looks just like this. A quick inspection of the tool reveals that the only writing is right here on this site and it says made in the US, spooltool.us, pat pending. Uh, you can see that there's a safety style razor here. Uh, it's almost uh, uh, impossible to cut yourself through here because your finger is obviously too big. This is only sized just for small um, cord or paracord for which this tool is specifically designed. Uh, right here you have a lanyard hole uh, so you can either you know attach some paracord or a, perhaps a carabiner or, or something. Uh, and then you have two uh, holes right here so you can actually uh, what you do is you put your paracord through it put a knot and then pull it taunt and then you can wrap your hundred feet of paracord here with uh, without the paracord ever slipping off this spool and of course right here we have a lighter port so you can it can hold the lighter and these points right here is whenever you wrap your paracord you can uh, secure it just by pulling it down and locking it in uh, to whatever level you need and left left or right side right here. Upon this assembly I realized this is just a standard Stanley box cutter razor and what's interesting is um, not only can you find these just about anywhere you know any kind of dollar store or home improvement uh, but as you're cutting the paracord you're using up one side particularly this side so whenever this side gets dull you can just simply disassemble it Take the blade, flip it over, like so, and then you can use up the other side. And you can see here that this is made to accommodate a small lighter, particularly a mini Bic, and it clips in just like that. And it actually takes a lot of effort to uh, unclip it, but not to actually put it in like that. Uh, and right over here, what I like about this is that it has a safety. So even if the, the lighter for some reason gets pushed up, there's no chance that the gas can escape because the, the top of the lighter hits uh, the top of this wing. So there is no chance that you will lose any kind of gas. As you guys can see, I have this fully loaded up. Uh, the, the product is specified for 100 feet, but I have this loaded up to 110-ish uh, because I have flattened out my paracord and I have stretched out making it a little bit smaller, thus getting more feet uh, overall. Um, it's it's actually not too big. It's very manageable. It's about I don't know hand size uh, like a big fist I guess so it's still uh, Inside uh, your backpack or outside your backpack. It won't get much in the way and you can still access The features and you can get your lighter out no problem uh, And you can you know the carabiner very easily doesn't really affect any of the paracord and over here, I must say, this locks in really, really, really well. I mean, look. What? I'm pulling as hard as I could. That's how tight these, these lock in. And, and to put it back, you just uh, line it up, and you just pull to one side. And then you tighten. And I'm telling you, this, this is really, really tight. And then the blade feature right here, even though it looks kind of buried, you can still access it pretty easily. Loosen whatever amount that you actually need. 
and then uh, thread it through and just pull straight back and it's really uh, it cuts really easily my overall assessment of this even though it's lightweight it is definitely not flimsy it's really well made you can feel that this this polymer is is weapons grade polymer uh, what I really like about it is that it uses that standard box cutter blade so it's definitely replaceable if you ever had to replace that and the fact that you can flip it over to get double uh, double life out of it. Uh, this wider dock is also very very firm. I can't describe it to you guys. It's it's pretty legit. And this is I, I don't know of a better way to keep a hundred feet of paracord on hand and, and ready to go. Uh, and I mean this is something that if you really, really, really had to, you could operate this with one hand if you really, really had to, actually. Overall, I think this is a very worthy convenience and it's definitely worth the money. I think I spent 16 or $17 and it was free shipping to my house. I mean, that's, that's pretty good for something made in the US. Um, a lot of people are wondering why do you need the lighter attached to your paracord? Uh, and it's simply whenever you cut off the end, uh, then you can take the lighter and then you can melt the end to 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 stop it from fraying and to make it more secure. That's why the lighter is there. Um, this tool, what you can also do is your backpack with all your food in it, you can take uh, and you can hoist it up in a tree. And it's very easy to do that. You just loosen up some of this paracord, tie your backpack to it. You can take the bulk of this with the remaining paracord and throw it up and over a branch and then you can pull everything up. This definitely has that perfect throwing weight. And as always, I hope you guys find this helpful. Go ahead and like the video, share it, subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, I'll enjoy seeing you guys next time. Paka paka.